Hello everyone, and in this video we are going to talk about how to create bulk certificates. Uh, so maybe you have uh, a group of students that you're trying to do this for, for a student in a month, um, something along those lines, or maybe a CPR course and you want to create the same certificate for everybody. Um, so one of my favorite things about Canva, as you might know, is that we can just do a quick search for whatever we want to search for. So in this case, we'll just do certificates and it'll give us some pretty straightforward, simple certificate templates that we can look at. So uh, certificate appreciation, uh, we have lots of different, oh, there's one here for a baptism, achievement, uh, student of the month. So a big variety of different templates that we have available for us. And on top of that too, if we want to be even more specific, we can even say student of the month certificates, and it will give us um, some of those templates uh, for us. Oh, here's one for employee of the month as well. So lots of different ideas that we have available to us. So if there is one here that we really like, uh, maybe one with a photo, or maybe if I just find something simple for this uh, example, uh, maybe we will do this one here, student of the week, sure, why not? Uh, we'll customize this template and it will show up for us here. Perfect. So the first thing we will need to do is make sure that there are enough text boxes that are available uh, in all the spots that we need it. So if we create a quick text box, it's really teeny tiny, but we can expand that a little bit more. Actually, I'll stretch it over here. So that way we can include the student's name there. Um, and then maybe for the date, we want to add another text box. So we will do that as well. We can change the size of that font as well. Okay. And then let's do one more for the teacher's name, just for this quick example here. And actually to start, since I'll use my name as a teacher's name, we already know that we are gonna have my last name there. Okay, perfect. So for this example here, um, instead of student of the week or start of the week, we are actually gonna change the word week and to make things a little bit easier for this example, we're just gonna put in month and we'll leave it at that for now. So the next thing you're gonna need is the actual uh, Canva app that is called Bulk Create. So if we scroll down on the left-hand side, go to apps, you see that I already have it downloaded here. It's called Bulk Create, but in case you don't have it, you just jump in apps and you just do a quick search for Bulk Create and it should be the very first one at the top of your uh, top of the results page here. So you click on that and it'll download so you can start creating uh, your bulk number of certificates. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on bulk create right now and I'm going to add my data. Now, if you remember in another video of mine about creating countdown clocks uh, using Canva, same kind of situation. In that one, I use an Excel file and a CSV file to create the countdown. For this one, I'm just gonna enter the data manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This screen pops up right here, and actually what we're gonna do, we're just gonna change the names from within. So maybe the first name I'll put in mine, and then we can put in uh, the month that they were student of the month, so September. Let's see if we can delete this. We'll keep Jane for that one. Jane is going to be the student of the month for October. Maybe we'll put in Stephen for that one for November. And we'll do up to January here. So for December. Now you're probably wondering too about the sections where it says name and email. If you wanted to change that, you absolutely can. It doesn't affect anything on the actual certificates themselves. Um, it just kind of gives it a little label for you. So I'll do January here. So I remember to double click, the double click's not working. There we go, January, perfect. And that should be enough for this example for now. And then we're just gonna scroll down to the bottle, bottom and click done. 
All right, perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is connect the data, so the name and the month fields, to the two text boxes that I have created here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this first text box, and I'm going to click the three dots for more. And I'm just going to scroll down just a little bit and connect data. So from connect data, we're going to put name there. And then also in paragraph, same thing. Scroll down a little, connect data. You could do the exact same thing with photos. So if you didn't want to start here, within that table, you could actually upload uh, photos, maybe a photo of every student, and then that star will change to those photos for every student, which is kind of neat to see too. But for this example, we'll just keep the name up here, month down here, click continue. And we are going to do this for every student, and we're going to generate the five designs. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Takes a few seconds here to reload, and we can see star of the month, award it to Frank in September, Jane in October, Stephen, Claire, and Lindsay. So you can change those any way you need to. If you needed to edit, like I'm looking at this right here, my months are a little bit to the side, so I can kind of tweak those as I need to. But we created those five within seconds. So again, if you need to create this for your own student of the month or your own course that you're running and you need to create certificates of completion for those students, you can absolutely do that. Um, within seconds and it'll save you a ton of time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, by all means, uh, subscribe and share this video with others and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you.